Hello everyone, what is cooking all you good looking people out there and welcome to another exciting episode of GeoGuessr. Here we are in yesterday's daily challenge location. A very, very cool location. We've got, we're on some sort of island, perhaps. I mean, it seems like it very well could be an island. Uh, the name of the photographer is just floating over here in the sky. It's like you sign the picture, uh, and it, it's right over there. You've got a beautiful sunset over the waters, having awesome ships inside. I mean, look at the color of the water. That's real nice. Uh, we've got these uh, these buildings over here. Very cool. And if you look like it's, I mean, they're, they're like dug into the rock. I mean, they're not really dug into the rock, but... I don't know. Like, look at look at this big exposed rock here. It looks like they it's around. This was a sort of this was like some sort of excavation around here of some sort. That's interesting. Big city over there. So where are we? I'm gonna say that this is the open ocean. I think this is the open ocean. Uh, I don't think this is uh like the Mediterranean. I think this is something. This could be like the Middle East, but it could not be. This could be, yeah, all right, we got that. I'm going to go with, this is, I, I don't think, oh, this is such a hard one to guess. I mean, we could be, like, we could be around here. I mean, big shipping lanes are around here. I don't think we're in Yemen or Oman. Uh, I, we could be, could be, this could be Jeddah. I mean, it might be, this might be Jeddah. Is that really po a possibility? I guess it is. It could be here looking out over there. Is that is that possible? That, that that's where we are? I'm 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 guessing it might be. We might be there. This might be this might be that. Alright. Well then uh, let's make that guess. I'm gonna say that we're right here. Let's go with Jeddah and let's say we're looking in over there. I have absolutely no idea. I'm not gonna look at that compass. It's probably gonna uh, tell me that we're not there, so I'm just gonna make that guess and go with that. The answer was no, it wasn't that, and we were, it was the Mediterranean, so, you know, I got some stuff wrong right there. Uh, it was the Mediterranean, it was, we we are in Syria, okay, we are in Syria, we are, okay, the island was much further away, um, we were in a place called Arwad, uh, Citadel of Arwad, off of Tartus, in, uh, there's the Mediterranean, we were in Syria, wow, that is really cool, so that is 1856, Pretty awesome, indeed. Hopefully some of you guys uh, put in a good guess. Hey, hello everyone, what is cooking all you? Ah, oh, damn it, I've done it again. Oh, I really want to start this recording all over, but it is, I can't believe it. It's been like three times in a row now that I've screwed up this part. This is the daily challenge. This is not the intro to the video. You have already seen that, but <laughs> it's so confusing because this is always the first thing that I record. I record this part, then I record the next part, which is the start of tomorrow's video, then I record the real section. So yeah, very confusing and a very jolting middle, I guess I should probably say. So this is the daily challenge, and that means it's up to you guys to tell me where in the world do you think this is? This is a really, really cool location. It's an awesome monument we've got this golden uh i guess statue I, I i'm assuming it's only the the upper body although there may actually be a lower body if it's actually a little bit further than this part actually yeah it's probably uh like a, it's probably an entire statue lower body sitting on a pedestal is probably just uh, a little bit past this rock though and this is a really cool rock itself i mean it seems like this whole um, this whole structure here is built on this top of this really, really cool looking mountain in this really awesome mountain range. And one of the really, really awesome things about this mountain range is like, look how flat the land is, like right over here. It's like sheer and then just wow, mountains this way. So that is really, really cool. And this differs a little bit from a lot of challenges in that I, I think some of you might be able to guess exactly where this is. I unfortunately don't. I have no idea where this is, but I think uh, some of you might actually be able to get this location precisely, which is why I'm going to give an another clue for those that um, 
don't want to uh, scour, uh, I don't know, use whatever strategies available to try and get pinpoint this exactly. And uh, for those of you that want to maybe try and decipher what country this is, you get to look at this writing over here, which is what I need to look at as well to figure out what country we're in. So we've got this writing on this water bottle. It's probably a, a national brand, but honestly, um, that wouldn't really help you because if you can decipher what writing this is, you can already tell what country this is. By a national brand, I mean a, a brand of water available only in this country. Country, but if you can decipher the writing, you can already tell the country, so this isn't going to give you any more clues, unless, you know, I'm reading that, I mean, unless, you know, this actually is specifically water sold at this location, which maybe that will give you the answer, but I doubt it's probably just a brand of water that's only available in uh, this country, so yeah, there you go, that's the clue that I'm going to use to try and figure out where I think we are, I, um, uh, well, I mean, I'm, I've sort of zoomed in on the map in the area of the, of the world I already think it is, so this is just a weird daily challenge. Um, you guys could have probably figured that by yourselves, so uh, put down your guesses. Tell me where in the world you think this is. Uh, even There's probably already going to be some uh, answers. in the, there, might, there might. There might be no answers, honestly, but there might be some answers that have already guessed it exactly. So I would say just for fun, try and avoid looking in the comment section and write down where you think this is going to be uh, just... Uh, based on what uh, on what you're seeing and on the clues uh, that that uh, that have been presented of course there's no of me policing that so there you go you know we could always you could always be like uh, over over here you know it's a possibility you never you never know although uh, honestly, I have absolutely no idea. So tom in tomorrow's video, I'm going to make a guess as to where I think it is. I'll probably be wrong, but I probably won't be that many kilometers off since I, I think we've got the region down as to where in the world we are. Um, so yeah, uh, I'm probably going to make a guess in tomorrow's video, and I will put in the comment section whoever guessed closest, or the people that did. If there's a lot of you, that'd be really, really cool. Uh, so hopefully you guys uh, can do that. Put your guesses down in the comment section below. Okie dokie, here we are in the main section of today's video with a viewer challenge, one brought to us by Above the Heavens. That's right, Above the Heavens. Thank you so much for this challenge. I believe this is the first one uh, that you've sent in, and that is awesome. If it's not the first one, I am so sorry, I forgot, uh, but uh, there's been a lot of people but uh, because I thought it was the first one you sent in, that's why it got priority over uh, the backlog, which is the ones uh, that are um, from people that have sent some before. Of course, I am always happy if anyone sends them. And if you want to send one, you can go to geosetter.com, G-E-O-S-E-T-T-R.com, make a challenge yourself and send it in. Either use the YouTube inbox system. That's the good one. Use that. I mean, it's not good, but it's the preferable option out of this next one, uh, which is to put, in the com to put it in the comments of one of the videos. The reason why sometimes YouTube deletes those or marks them as spam, and then it's harder to find, and it's harder to actually get the link. So thank you so much. Above the heavens, now there is a theme to this challenge, which you can, of course, um, say if you would, uh, if you want to have a theme to these. These are stadiums, indoor and outdoor. Now, I don't know what kind of stadiums there are. I'm assuming they're going to be soccer stadiums, or, you know, football stadiums, if you want to call them that. Uh, <laughs> I just, I just love, I, I mean, you know, I call it soccer because it's called soccer here, and I, I love making a point of it, not because I actually care, just because it's funny when people care. To be honest, when it comes to most things in life, who cares? No one should care. And that's just, I mean, obviously care about things in life, but honestly, you live a, you live a better life if you, if, you, if you just let go of those types of things and stop minding. I, th I think it's a good philosophy. Anyways, thank you so much above the heavens for this. You didn't call them any kinds of stadiums. You call them stadiums, indoor or outdoor, so who knows what kind they are. Uh, let's go find that out together. Awesome. If you guys want to do uh, this challenge as well as I do it, you can click down in the description below, find a link to this, and then do it yourself. So awesome. Challenge accepted. I sure have. Now, the first thing I see is a flag. And very, very cool. Very, very neat. We see all of this really cool stuff. And, of course, we see a flag over here, which is a flag of the Netherlands. <laughs> I was trying to make you guys think. I thought, actually, shit, I don't know. It could be Croatia. Oh, fuck. Mm, could it be Croatia? Is Croatia right on top? Ooh, good question here. Well, from this point of view, and I'm fairly certain the Dutch flag is red, white, blue. 
Although, if I'm wrong, I'm very sorry. I made that, uh, started making that point right before there. Oh boy, now this is, now this is getting complicated for me. The flag is really what I'm looking at here, for now. I'll look around a little bit later, after I try and figure this out. Now, the difference between Croatia and the Netherlands is, should be a lot, so I should be able to look at writing, but I'm fairly certain, no, the Netherlands definitely is red, white, blue. There's no way that it's red, blue, white. Croatia could have those, I, I believe it's the same, I believe it's the same colors in that order as well. I don't think it's the order of the Russian flag for Croatia, and it's uh it's slovenia that has also a similar looking flag well okay so then we've got that out of the bag i'm gonna still think netherlands right off the bat that's just what's coming to mind you know we've got uh, volkswagen that's you know that's close right it's closer to the netherlands than it is to uh croatia or uh, it's slovenia right uh, but i'm not sure about that one it could it could be slovakia i think it's slovenia that also has a similar looking flag uh but it's one of those three Wow, are those mountains? That might change things, right? I mean, if those are mountains... Netherlands is... Uh, does Netherlands have mountains? I, I've never thought that it did. And I'm going to say that it doesn't. So I'm going to change... Whoa, there's a head. Uh, so I'm going to change that. Looking around over here, uh, we can see... Oh, what? HR... Isn't that, uh, isn't that Switzerland? Oh, boy. HR. What the hell's a dot .HR address? Is that, um, isn't that Switzerland? Well, now we all, now we're all confused. Um, I mean, some of us are probably not. So this over here, this upside down, so this, well, I mean, not this upside down. Well, yeah, it's an upside down one of those guys that, you know, they use in French, but uh, the V on top of the letter, is that a Dutch thing? I don't think it is. I've never seen it any sort of, as far as I know, I don't think I've seen it in any sort of signage or name cruise in the Netherlands. So that's out of the bag. I'm thinking Slovenia, to be honest. I believe we've got it there. I believe, you know, this is it. Yeah, so I'm, I'm thinking Slovenia on this one. Um, all right, it's multi-power. Yeah, all right. I mean, the language didn't really seem Dutch either. So there, there is that. All right, I'm starting to feel a little bit more comfortable with my guess here. Okay, Slovenia, fine. Where are we? Uh, I don't know. Well, I mean, this isn't really big. This is this could be almost anywhere. There are mountains here. I mean, Croatia probably has mountains as well. I'm going to go with uh, Kran, Kranj. Sure, that sounds good to me. Let's make the guess. Oh, Croatia. Oh, Croatia. It was Croatia. Again, Croatia, again, sort of similar uh, thing. Slovenia does have a similar flag, right? Oh, I really want to, I really want to check that now. See if Slovenia is a... No, okay. No, 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 no. I'm not going to check that now. I'm going to check that after the game. Even though, you know, this is, this is pure GeoGuessr. I can't even look at Google, even if it's to Google what the Slovenian flag looks like. So that's not happening. All right, fine. We are going to continue here. Oh, that might have been a crucial mistake because I don't actually know. I, 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 the thing is, I argued with myself as to whether or not Slovenia's flag does look like that. And I came to the conclusion that it does, but I never actually, um, I didn't actually know. I knew for a fact Croatia's flag looked like that, also the flag of the Netherlands. So I should have went with one that I knew for sure. And uh, I, I sort of failed myself in that regard. Mountains over here. Yeah, there they are. There are the mountains. The mountains in Croatia. Well, there you go. 2585. Um, okay, now this isn't, oh, I see, I was gonna say this isn't quite a stadium, but now it is, it's a stadium of some sort, I was like a track and field slash, uh, soccer, but this one is also Santos FC, okay, well, we've got that down, Santos FC, where do we think Santos FC is found, uh, I think it's found in Brazil, 
that would make Antarctica Sub Zero. Wow, is that the name of a beer? They are. They're really going for it. I mean, they should really rename Coors Light Antarctica Sub Zero at this point because that would. Yeah, Pare, that's great. We're in Brazil. We know that much. Uh, because, I mean, if that's, I mean, that could also not be the name of a beer, but it, it makes me think that it is the name of a beer just because the way that the sort of logo looks and uh, having this. But, like, you know, if you see the advertisements for Coors Light, I mean, it might as well be called Antarctica Sub Zero. They're going for a similar marketing, I think. So that, that's pretty sweet. I mean, who your, your beer's got to be like ice cold. Like, uh, the next thing I'm expecting to see from those commercials is people literally pouring salt into the beer to make it even colder. Uh, I, they, I mean, like, believe me, I am a fan of cold beer. And, uh, you know, beer does get worse as it warms up. I, I will say that. I, I do enjoy it cold. Uh, and responsibly. <laughs> I don't know why I felt the need to say that. Um, but yeah, no, I do I do enjoy cold, but like, I don't know. It's, it's, it, it, people who obsess over this extreme cold, I mean, maybe I mean, maybe obsess over like quality of the beer. That seems seems something a little bit better. You know, if you're gonna if you're gonna like if if I was gonna buy uh, a case of beer and then like a bunch of ice and like all like all like an, 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 like some and a bunch of ice to cool it N no just just buy just buy better beer and drink that you'll enjoy it more probably and you know there's refrigerators too but i don't know i don't know what kind of argument i was just making but uh, there you go i mean this is um 50 cent it's for text messages what I don't actually know what that says. I can't read that. Uh, so, all right, we're in Brazil. Where in Brazil are we? Uh, we're going to go with... Um, uh, what, what does this climate remind me of? This climate reminds me of uh, somewhere surrounding... Uh, sort of north of... Uh, north of Brasilia. Sort of like around here. Yeah, sure. Uh, Brasilia, let's go... I mean, we're probably going to be wrong because we already know that we saw the name of the place, but uh, we're going to go with Goiania. So let's make that. Oh, we were just, wow, Santos. Well, we saw Santos, but honestly, we didn't. Wow, Sao Paulo isn't on the water. That's incredibly bizarre to me. I really would have thought it would be. But it's not. I have never even I've never even looked that much into Sao Paulo or made the realization in my mind that it wasn't on the water. Santos is where we were. We already knew that, but I couldn't have found it on the map, to be honest. I might have I might have been able to, but I didn't. Twenty two thirty. Very cool. Okay, where are we this time? Well, we find ourselves in um I believe this to once again be Brazil, based on what I'm seeing here. Uh, I don't know if it is or if it isn't. Actually, in that first picture, could I move? I don't know if I could move in that first picture. I really hope that I, because I really hope that I couldn't, uh, because that might have that might have helped me. HR, HR. Well, that's that's interesting. I'm still going over why that was dot HR, or is. Yeah, I thought HR was Switzerland, but anyways, we're we're not talking about that. This thing, okay. Let's go look around, see what we can see, see if we can see maybe some nice websites. Uh, that would be useful. What else would be website? Uh, what else would be website? Wow, Italian. Oh, okay. Um, well, we we're seeing Italian team uniforms. That doesn't necessarily that doesn't necessarily mean anything. AXA. Um, okay. Well, is this is this uh? I mean, this feels this feels Portuguese. I, I don't. It doesn't feel Italian. It might be because I have a really terrible understanding of. Yeah. Okay. This has got to be. This has got to be Portuguese, and we've got to be in Portugal itself. I think actually, in this case, we're not in Brazil. I think we are in. Uh, I think we're in Portugal itself. No, I don't actually know that, and I could be. I'm not going to be too embarrassed, but I should I should be uh, when we find out we're actually in Italy. But um, you know, I'm I'm gonna go. Uh, I don't know what that means, but I mean it means 
means beer from a barrel. I mean, it's probably barrel. I'm just I'm just trying to make sure that this doesn't say Brazil, but it doesn't. It, it my I'm reading all the letters individually, and I can read, but every time I see this, I get very scared that I'm going to make the assumption this is Portugal and it's going to be Brazil or Italy. We haven't figured that one out yet. Uh, there's a few countries this could be, but uh, let's go see what what uh, what these things are. Um, Braga. Well, can we find Braga? We'll, we'll try and find it. All right. Well, we're going to see that. Braga. Are we going to see it? All right. So we're looking over here. No, we're not seeing anything over there. I'm just going to stop making that noise or else someone's going to probably go crazy over that. Um, uh, yeah, no. All right. Well, you know, let's go with Braganza since it has a similar sounding name, but that's probably a bad idea. Uh, let's do it. Oh, okay. Not bad. Oh, did, oh, did that, oh, did I, did I see that and then ignore it? Braga Municipality. Oops. My, damn it. Why did I do that? Oh, man, it was so close. I cut, It was in my vision range. Oh, that is so bad. All right. Well, that's okay. 2963 points. <laughs> Ooh, that's a cool fountain. All right. I'm liking that. Oh, check that out. We got some soccer players wearing orange and black. It's like, uh, it's like my favorite flavor of ice cream. Uh, it's, I wouldn't say it's my favorite flavor of ice cream, but Tiger Tail? I don't know. It's like, it reminds me of childhood. Tiger Tail is a good ice cream. Do you guys like uh, Do you guys like Tiger Tail ice cream? It's it's weird. Oh, wow. Okay. We are in Donbass Arena. Donbass. 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 I feel like I should know where that is. Donbass. I'm saying it. I, I keep saying it. And I don't know. I don't know why. I I, I think I should. I should, Donbass. Nope. Is that a place? It might not be a place. That's true. Obviously. Why would it be a place? That's the name of a thing, right? A company. Donbass. That's what. Could the things are named after companies? I believe. But yeah, Tiger Tail, childhood favorite of mine. Uh, it is an orange and black licorice flavored ice cream, and. Uh, that's a weird combination, and it is. It's a weird combination, right? Uh, but it is quite delicious. So there you go. That's uh, that's that's my pick for top ice cream flavor. Not really. I mean, I guess I'm a fan of like the, the the good old the good old cookie dough. And I guess there's some arguments to be made that vanilla is really the best flavor uh, because everything goes with it. If you're a fan of having, um, I mean, you know, if you're a fan of pie, the best ice cream is vanilla because. Vanilla ice cream goes better with pie than any other ice cream, because I mean, yeah, you I mean you you can have whatever the pie flavor is in the ice cream. So yeah, there you go. But on its own, I don't know. Vanilla's all right. It's not the greatest. It's definitely not the worst. Where are we? We're probably in uh, in Russia. Uh, for some reason, I'm thinking we're over here. Or something uh, somewhere over here. Um, no, we're not gonna be there. Uh, we're not gonna be there. We've already been there. Uh, we're not, I don't know. I mean, I'm just looking around. I'm seeing a lot of stuff, but I I don't think so. Ah oh, man, this is gonna be this is gonna be a hard one. It's none of the major Russian cities that I really know of. Again, it's probably not. Um, okay, I'm gonna go with a major Russian city, and uh, yeah, I'm not gonna go looking like that. Okay, major Russian city. Okay. Well, we are in like a still picture type situation, and I don't know if I can get out on the street. We could actually be, we could actually be in Ukraine. Is there any, are, are there any tells? Are there any flags nearby that I can see? I mean, there's those orange flags, but that, that's not the kind of flag I was actually looking for. Uh, no, okay, we're going to go with Russia then. Uh, not Moscow, not, um, not St. Petersburg, um... We're going to go with uh, Volgograd. Sure. We were, Volgograd's probably a big city, but we're going to go with Volgograd. And... We're in Donetsk. Well, there you go. Back to... Uh, back to Eastern... Uh, back to Eastern Ukraine, then. In Donetsk. Well, 
there you go. Donetsk, city that uh, you may have heard a lot about. That's where we find ourselves. 24-37, though. It's not bad. Next. Okay. So, where are we now? It's Coca-Cola advertisement. That means we can be absolutely anywhere in the world. Absolutely. <laughs> it's funny how I said that. Um, all right. We can't move anywhere. Uh, we've got big tower. Oh. Ah, that, that's nice. It's a Greek flag. I, th I'm th I think it is. I think it is a Greek flag. All right. Uh, Provenciov. Ah, I still think it's a Greek flag. This guy, this guy, oh, look at it. Look at this guy. He's just having a good time. This guy, this guy looks like he's having a great time. That's amazing. Oh, this person's got like a severed body and feet. Um, yeah, just some sort of out outdoor concert going on, floating uh, UFO in the air. It's gonna, you know, invade us all. Yeah, looks like a, looks like a nice place. I mean, everyone out here on the floor seems to be having a better, wow, Jesus, packed up here. Everyone got seats up there. Maybe they were giving them away or something. It'd be funny to see someone just sitting, like, right up there, right? It'd be good. You're gonna get a real good show, good show of the show, good sight of the show. Looks like it's televised as well. Wow, jeez, fancy. Well, where are we? Um, I don't know if this is uh, if this is Greece, which it might not be, but we're gonna assume it is. I'm gonna go with uh, Athens. Sure, let's go with Athens. Let's say we're somewhere around Athens. Let's make the guess. Uruguay. The flag of Uruguay look like again? It's like oh, it is similar to that, right? Yeah, it is. It's got like a it's got like a sun on it too. Yeah, uh, yeah. It, it, it does it have a sun on it or does it not? Oh, I'm really forgetting. Oh, the flag of Uruguay. That's a tough one. Um, I do think it has some sort of a sun on it, if I remember correctly, like in the corner where the the Greek uh sort of x is in the in the corner and the x in the square does that one does that one have like a sun on it it might not it might be crazy but uruguay i wouldn't have guessed that i really really forgot about that we were i really forgot about the possibility of being uruguay at all uh but yeah montevideo montevideo no idea but there you go here we were in uh Cen centenario stadium Wow, that is pretty cool. I only got 296 points, uh, which gives me a grand total of 10,511. That was a pretty tough one. Could have done better. We were in Donetsk. We were in Croatia, not Slovenia. There are mountains in Croatia. Uh, we were in Portugal. And I could have got that one exactly if I had just opened my eyes. We were in Greece. No, we weren't. We were in Uruguay. And finally, we were in Brazil, very near Sao Paulo. I might have gotten that one as well had I opened my eyes for Santos, but it's a bit hard to tell. Uruguay, I mean, I was never going to guess it. I didn't even remember what that flag looked like. Um, probably should have guessed Croatia, if I'm honest, but I didn't. Uh, if I opened my eyes, I could have gotten that one. And... Honestly, I was thinking Ukraine, kind of, but I decided that, you know, since, uh, you know, I, I don't know anything, uh, looking looking at uh, the, that, that big stadium and all those, all those you know, big pictures of those players, I was like, huh, I think, uh, I was thinking, what has a bigger soccer league, Russia or Ukraine? And I don't, actually don't know the answer, but I assumed that Russia might have had a bigger one, and I was like, oh, this is a real big team, but again, Ukraine probably has some <laughs> big theme, big themes, teams itself uh so yeah there you go um we actually were in ukraine so awesome 10 5 1 1 that's a pretty decent score again thank you so much for the challenge and as always i will see you guys tomorrow for more hot geo guesser action oh yeah cue the royalty free music three two one go come on everybody get on your feet stand up look at the screen and repeat i'm gonna like rate comment and subscribe i love watching aether vids all of the time thanks for dropping by and spending the time hope you've enjoyed and let's get on with our lives oh yeah 
thanks to Kevin McLeod for these awesome beats. Ooh, yeah. Have a good one.